Hello again. Round one was so bad, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> and just finish up a real simple hard candy look since it was going good. Hi! It's late Saturday night, way too late for me to be working. <laughs> Round one of this live tutorial was a hot freaking mess. So let's hope it goes better. I'm going to wait for a couple people to hop on. I'm going to start my eyebrows. Hi. I just Everything is going wrong. I just dropped my Urban Decay palette. See? Everything's going wrong. If this fell apart, I will cry. It's fine. Thank you, God. In the first one, I spilt a whole bottle of um, NYX foundation drops. The whole bottle. <laughs> and my backdrop fell. Everything went wrong. Everything. Because I like to do my tutorials early for a reason. I'm a mom of four and I've been up since 5.30 and I'm exhausted. But I told you guys I would do a live today so here I am. I was going to do a full face Urban Decay but plans have changed because I'm too tired and everything keeps falling. Um, where's my brush? It fell too. So we'll do the Urban Decay someday when Asher takes a nap and I can work during the day. So I'm going to use NYX Tame and Frame in black for my brows. I have... Okay, so we used... I'm going to go ahead and tell you what we used so I can just skip part one because it was a disaster. We used Urban Decay Optical Illusion face primer and milk, or milk makeup hydrating oil to start and then we used this bottle of NYX drops which I spilled all over the floor and then we used hard candy mix in pigment drops for highlight and then we used Master Concealer. And then we used Physician's Formula because I asked which one they wanted me to use. I was trying to use treat cheap makeup that you know you guys can buy and not high end. She chose Physician's Formula. But then I grabbed these two guys which I've had forever and wanted to try out and we ended up using those because the highlighter in here is actually really pretty. So that's where we left off. The highlighter in that, one of them's a highlighter kit, a highlighter duo, and the other is a blush and contour. And they're actually nice. Surprisingly so. So I'm just gonna go in with my eyebrows, with my Sigma here live tutorials at 10 o'clock at night. I die. I gotta get mixed. You gotta get in there and get mixed. I've never used this one before. It's brand new because normally I don't do black. I'm doing black because I have a gray wig on. Where is everybody? You guys. Oh, my beauty is my vice bays are leaving me hanging. But I'm late. Five hours late. So. 
can't blame them. Can't blame them. Hi. Putting some NYX tame and frame on in black. not doing anything in depth because it's really late and I'm so tired so tired Let's start the other side and then come back and see if I want to fix it up at all. Hi! Doing some makeup. I was supposed to start hours ago, but nothing went right, so I'm five hours late. Hi! Five hours late. I said, I said I'd start around five, but I have four kids, so... And I've been up since 5.30, so I'm exhausted. But got to keep my word. So here I am. Putting on black mix tame and frame. With my Sigma brush that is covered in product. Way too much product. Wearing this wig that's getting in my way. <laughs> Driving me nuts. And go down and then up and then up and then over it's pretty cute kinda kinda <laughs> a little crazy looking though I had it pinned up but it came down so I'm just like whatever I'll fix it when I'm done. Because <laughs> right now it just keeps getting in my face and every time I pin it up it comes unpinned. Because it's so silky. Even though I put dry shampoo in it to try to give it some texture, it's still so silky. And somebody sent me this wig. I can't remember who. I forgot I even had it. But I was curious to put it on now because my followers voted on what hair color t I should go to next. And they chose gray. And I'm telling you what, like, I'm so obsessed with color. I don't think I could do gray every day. It's cute, but not every day. So, wigs will do. I got a couple of gray wigs. Keep everybody happy. I keep waiting for Jessica to pop up. Normally, I'm like all bubbly and talking and full of it, but it's late and I'm still drinking coffee. Look how big my cup is. <laughs> it's ginormous. It's like a whole bottle of coffee. I drink the Starbucks cold mocha coffee that you buy in the big container. I'm not a hot coffee drinker. So we basically did pretty much a hard candy face. We used a bunch of products that I don't like very much just to switch it up some. It wasn't full face um, hard candy. I wanted to do full face Urban Decay, but I'm too tired. But I have everything to do a full face, 
Next, Full Face Wet n Wild, Full Face Hard Candy, Full Face Elf, Full Face Urban Decay, Full Face Anastasia. I just need to get my crap together and get it done someday when I can actually... I'll have to do it on the weekend, weekend some, sometime when my fiance is home so that I can get it done during the day. Because I'm just too tired at night to function. Not to mention do makeup. I mean, I can do it. I'm just so slow and like not not inspired. It's pretty and simple and mild. It's still pretty though. I was amazed at how pretty the highlighter was in here. I was not expecting much from these, but these are actually really pretty. The little hard candy. This is blush and contour, and this is highlighting and bronze. Which is what I have on my face. I didn't finish it. It's still unfinished. I started. But it's pretty. You can see the highlight. It's pretty. It's not amazing, but it's pretty. For sure. I wanted to do, since I decided I couldn't have time for Urban Decay, all products that you guys can go to the store and afford Ah. The only high-end product I used was, well, I guess you consider milk high product, a little bit high-end. These two were the only high-end. The Urban Decay Optical Illusion and Milk Makeup for Primer. Which is funny because I don't really like the optical illusion face primer. I never use it. It's okay. It just doesn't for me leave a good finish. And I want a flawless finish. For my skin at the moment, because it keeps changing because I try every single product in the world. For my skin, for a flawless application, I use Vaseline first, just to fill my pores. I tap and wipe it off real good. Then I use LA Colors Face Primer, or no. Then I use the Milk, Ma Milk Makeup Hydrating Oil and dab my face again, wiping off all the excess. And then I use LA Colors. And then I have a flawless application. I tried to make the optical illusion flawless, but it still didn't work. My, my application is not flawless. It's good, but it's not flawless. And these eyebrows are giving me a hard time. Jessica's still not here. How long does it take me to do my makeup? Okay, if I wasn't on live, it takes me anywhere from... If I was going to do glam, 20 minutes, normally it takes me 5. But at 10 o'clock at night, it, it takes me forever to do anything because I've been awake for like 24 hours. <laughs> On live, it takes me longer because I'm always trying to show you the products, talk about what I'm doing, talk about how it works, if it doesn't work, where I got it, how to use it. So it end up, ends up taking forever. but. When it's just me in the mirror, I'm fast. Because 30 minutes, yeah. I can do like like I told you guys, I did that really pretty full face uh Anastasia in five minutes and it was gorgeous. Um I wanna do a little tutorial for that. I do a lot of five minute makeup because I have four kids. Every time I pick something up, something f drops. So I'm going to stop there and figure out what I need to do to my face. So, eyes. Something simple. I'm going to add some powder first, if I can find my brush, because everything keeps falling. Falling, falling, falling. I'm going to go ahead and take the same highlighter, because I don't want to keep... I'm going to try to stick to some of the same products. 
I'm going to take the highlighter that we used, the hard candy one, and just go over my eye with it. told you guys, quick and simple tonight because I'm way too tired. Normally I do makeup and motivational speaking and all this crazy stuff, but <laughs> not tonight. Just add a little bit of shine rather than using setting powder. Just use the highlighter over my eye and then decide whether or not I want to use some eyeshadow. Plus I want to make this highlighter pop more because it's just not... Did I do? I did blush on this side. We didn't do it on the other one though. We stopped. The camera cut off so I gotta get the same color blush over here. Because remember we switched. I gotta get some of this hard candy blush over here. Once we decided we liked the uh, hard candy, I decided I wanted to try the contour, the blush, and the highlight. So this cheek doesn't match the other one. You probably can't tell on the camera, but I originally used Milani. And then I went over it with the hard candy just to try it out. This is pretty much like not really a tutorial. It's like just play with that with what I have because I'm tired and look pretty when I'm done but not glam not full glam just I wanted to hang out with all these guys because I haven't done a live and I had like <sighs> I was so inspired today to do my live but nothing went right so another day I'm not doing that look tonight it would n it would go bad so I'm just gonna wait my Urban Decay face. And I think I'm going to film my Urban Decay full face tutorial in my studio so that I can actually post it properly versus all the problems on the lives that I always have. <laughs> Normally I don't have as many problems when it's, you know, during the day. Someone here. My lip. This highlighter is pretty. It's not like, you know, it's not Anastasia, but it's pretty for, you know, cheap makeup. It's pretty. It is a pretty highlighter, I have to say. Like, it, But I want to keep going in because I feel like it's not quite bright enough. <laughs> so we're just going to keep going in, see if we can get it to glow a little better. It is, it's pretty. And it's it's a nice glow. It's not like it's not natural, but <clears throat> okay, if I didn't have these lights right on me and I was in like natural lighting, it would look like a natural glow. It's popping because of the lights beside me. That's why I tell you guys, like, when I do my tutorials during the day, I use natural lighting so you can see what it really looks like. Because, like, in the camera, this is, like, popping like crazy. In the mirror, I can hardly see it. Do you know what I'm saying? A little bit more on my side of my eye right here. And there's a bronzer here, down at the bottom. So I'm gonna use it, it's a little, it looks like it's a little bit glowy. And I'm just gonna go over my contour line to see if it'll make it glow a little bit. Let's see. If it glows a little bit. Sometimes when your palette's new, you really gotta dig in there before you get any product out, which is what's happening. I'm not getting any product. I'm not seeing anything. 
Let me try this brush. If I can get any out of here. Come on now. Not stoked with that, but I like the other one a lot. I am not seeing any difference. Like, this is not doing anything for me. Like, nothing. Try to put some down here, Sue. Just to see. I don't know what the heck. But look, if I put my finger in, it shows. Maybe it's just not showing because we already have so much contour there. There, now you can see it a little bit. It's just so hard pressed that it's not coming off well on the brush. I'll tell you what, you guys. The most amazing highlighter in the world is not pressed powder. Loose powder highlighter. So hard to find, but oh my god, it's incredible. Because you can have like a pop and glow and then give your whole face like a finish. Hi, you're back! I didn't know you're here! I just talked to Jessica and she still isn't here. Mindy, I don't know if you were here for round one, but everything went wrong. It was a disaster. My God. Like, you know the difference between watching me during my day tutorials. I'm all like... And now I'm like a mess. <laughs> like, embarrassing. Alright, so, I forgot the forehead. But we decided, if you missed it, Miss Mindy... This is a really pretty highlighter, this one, the Hard Candy, and I really like the blush and the contour too. They're good. And I think that they were probably five or six dollars. Not crazy about this one, but when I swatched it, it, it did look pretty. I, I think you just can't see it because I already have contour on. I was trying to make my contour glow. And you can see how it's a tiny bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Let me add, let me take this just out of curiosity to see if it works at all and put it on my lid and see what happens with my finger because it's not working with my brush. Just see if it shows up. See, it's showing up. So for some reason, use a brush or brush. Don't use a brush with the gold. Use your finger and it'll show up. It's not as bright, obviously, as this one. I love this one. It's so pretty. Like, I want to put more on. I'm awful with that. Like, I'll never stop. But to be fair, because we're using the hard candy now, I got to put the hard candy blush on my nose. To make sure it all comes together, right? And then... Oh, this wig! It's driving me nuts! And... We were talking about the brush. Look at this brush. Can you imagine me doing my, my makeup with this little... Little brush. <laughs> I don't know why they bother, but what I end up doing is I always take the little brushes that come in these kits and give them to my daughter because she's six and she uses them. You know what I mean? Like, what would I do with that? Whatever. I guess it's cute. But, okay, so now let's try to get 
the forehead because we used Milani earlier and then we changed our mind because the highlighter was pretty. So this is kind of just a play with makeup tutorial because April's loopy. <laughs> and there's a stink bug! Oh my god. These guys. See how pretty? I like the blush. And it goes good with the contour. I'm going to add a little bit of this contour up here because I didn't. And it's getting in my freaking hair. I put a pin up there, but it's so silky it won't hold up the wig. So I keep getting makeup in. What a disaster. Okay, let's try if I let's see if I can get it over here for a minute. It's funny, I'm like trying to get my forehead perfect and you guys can't even see it once I put my bangs down. Yeah, there's a freaking sink wug in here. Because I get really cold, like, there we go. Ah, oh. I get really, really, really cold, really, really fast. Like, my whole body shakes, I can't take it. So I turned the heat up to like 110. And then I came in here and I turned on my lights and I was like dying of heat. So I opened the window and the stink bug came in. Everybody in the house gets so mad at me when I do that because, like, the house turns into a sauna. And then I'm like, I'm too hot, you know. So stupid. Alright, I'm going to put some highlighter on my forehead now. I've got to get it together. I don't want the hour to run up before I'm done this silly look. But I'm just so impressed with this little highlighting kit. I've had it for ever and I've never used it. Just like everything else in my boxes and boxes and boxes and endless boxes of makeup. And I said on the first live, I never thought I'd say this, but I have too much makeup and it's like literally ruining my life. I can never find anything. I'm always breaking everything. I'm always spilling everything. I'm always ruining everything. <gasps> it's awful. All right. So right now we have like a golden lid going on. I don't know what I want to do for my lip. Because I had no plan because I was going to do Urban Decay look. But we're not doing that. Oh. While we're at it. Let's put this on too, just to see if it makes it better. It must be your phone because I'm on Wi-Fi and I shouldn't be messed up. So this is a new hard candy like, what did it say? It should say it on the back. Sheer Envy Prismic Highlighter. It's like supposed to be like amazing look at it woohoo let's see if that makes that any better it's because it's here it's like white let's see if we can glow anymore we'll see we'll compare this cheek to the other definitely a difference And it's kind of pearly, like pink. And it's bright white. Let's try it again. <laughs> I could highlight all day. Ton of fallout, though. And I'm barely touching. The other one, I was like grinding. This one, I'm barely touching. This one's better. 
The other one's good, though. But this one will pop right away with one swipe. See how much quicker that was? Why didn't I do that to begin with? I forgot I had this. See? Too much makeup. Don't do it. It will destroy you. <laughs> one thing at a time. You made it, Jessica. This is a hard candy face. For the most part. I used hard candy drops. Hard candy contour. Hard candy blush. Ton of hard candy highlighter. And you know what? I know I have hard candy lips, but no, I'm not because I'm doing a full face hard candy. We'll do that another day. This isn't full face hard candy, but there's a ton of hard candy on my face right now. So now look at this wig. Okay, hold on. I get myself resituated and figure out what to do before I put my lipstick and my lashes on. Should I do a black lip? Should I do a wing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's affordable too, so it's not expensive. And now that I decided I love that white one, I'm going to wipe this off a little bit and go over my eyes. Because these guys, rather than like setting my eyes with setting powder, I normally set them with I always go over with, I go over my eyelids with concealer and then I set them with highlighter and then I go in with my eyeshadow. And concealer is technically like your primer, you know, you don't have to prime them. I have a hard candy eye primer. Oh my gosh, I have so many hard candy products that I'm going to show you that are just absolutely awful. But these are good, but we'll use them all in the tutorial just for, just for fun to show you how crazy some of them are. The cool thing about hard candy is like they do come out with the, just like off the wall stuff and sometimes it's awesome. Other times it's like a hot mess, you know? But at least they try to do different. Do you see all that fallout? At least they try to do something different. You know, you gotta give them that. With that highlighter though, I have to say that, see this is why we have these problems on live. My blush is too late. We need more blush. I'm not pink enough. Too much highlight. Went a little crazy with the highlight. A little bit more pink in here. But yeah, I, I went to the ATM today and like about died because I was like in the negative, they overdrafted my account and oh, I lost it. Now obviously they disputed it and put all the money back, but now I have to like, you know what a pain in the butt it is. Now I have to like change every single thing and I have, my card is linked to like a hundred things. Like no joke, you know what I mean? It's going to take me a week to get everything set back up. And how did somebody get my card number? You know? Ugh. I'm too tired. This is an Urban Decay palette. I can't remember the name of this one. Oh, it's the Jean Michael. I'm using black, which is scary, but I'm gonna do mild, like not over the top. Just a light, 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 light eyeshadow and possibly a wing. And then a freaking lash and call it a day so I can go to bed. It 
it's really cold. Yeah, it, it was all snowy and icy here this morning. Well, not here, but my bank's 20 minutes from here and the whole driveway. It snowed here last night, but it didn't, it didn't uh, lay. This is laying weird because I put gold on and it's not. as intense as it normally would be and I'm working with the brush that it comes with preferably I would have a poofier brush to really blend that out do I have any in here this one isn't ideal but it'll do Not as dark as I would like, but especially with these dark shades, always start in the outer V or the outer over here. Start over here. I can't speak at night at all. I just like lose all concept of words. So, and I mean, not that it's. It's it's pigmented, but it's not to die for. I mean, this is black, and it's not showing up very dark. And I keep going in. And you know how you always got to be so careful with black, because you don't want to destroy your life. So I'm being careful. It's just a lot less darker than I thought it would be. Which is okay because I'm going for a milder look. But it's blending out nice. I have to say that. And it's blending out nicely because I put so much powder on my eyes before I started. I would love it if I had a small brush here to add some under my eye. I have all the amazing Sigma brushes just not in here. Oh, I love you. I was like losing it because I got on here. I was five hours late and none of my babes were on. And I just felt like so out of my comfort zone. And I would have been okay had it not been this late and I got on with like no idea of what I was gonna do you know what I mean and you guys weren't here do you see how much darker it's showing up at the bottom because I didn't put gold on down there so it's showing up more pigmented than it is up here so I'm gonna do kinda like a blown out black And if it cuts me off again, I swear to God. So mad. This one girl is like, how long does it take you to do your makeup? And the thing is, is normally max 20 minutes. And that's with full glam. That's when I'm not doing it on, you know, live or on a tutorial. Um, but, you know, <laughs> tutorials. Ugh, or lives everything's different because you're talking and you're sidetracked and you're kind of trying to tell people what you're doing you know what I mean and right now it doesn't matter what I'm doing it's gonna be a hot mess because I'm I'm just so tired me and Mindy we both start our day at 530 every morning So now it is after 10, I'm sure well after 10, which means I've been up forever. I mean, come 8 o'clock, I'm like burnt out. 
every day. So come 10 o'clock, I'm like a zombie. But you know what? I could do makeup in my sleep, so we're good. <laughs> I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just doing a blunt smoke eye. Trying to do it quick and easy. And I don't want gold here. I want silver there. So we're just going to have to fix that. Because you know how the rest of my face is silvery. I don't want a gold lid. So when you're working with dark, like everybody's so afraid of black eyeshadow, just put some in the corner, get a big fluffy brush, and just I go in circles. And just blow it out. It's that simple. Blow it out bigger over here and then bring it into your crease. Blow out into your crease. Blow out into your crease. And then depending on how blown out you want it down here, obviously if I cared right now I would get a smaller brush and not blow it out as big, but I don't really care right now. So I'm just going to use this one. And it'll just have to do. And if it isn't, if it's not perfect, you can just fix it with concealer. It's not a big deal. I'm going to start the other eye before it's midnight. <laughs> Thank you. The top isn't quite dark enough for me, but you know what? It is what it is. Why am I holding this in my hand? I have like 15 different things in my hand. No wonder it's taking me so long. Which brush? I started with this one, so let's try it. Because this is the brush that comes with this palette. The Urban Decay palette. And we're going full black. And see how, like, just doesn't, it shows up more of a gray than a black. But I have to say that I did put powder down, so... It's probably taken some of that, you know, it's mixing the white and the black, turning it into a grayish color. Because I put a whole bunch of white highlighting powder up there. So I can't tell you for sure how pigmented it is without, you know, until I do it without powder already there. But the other day, I used that Carity palette, and I had powder on my eyes, and it was, like, so pigmented. More pigmented than this. This is just not dark enough. I just can't stand it. And normally you would take a brush that looks kind of like this, but it's like 10 times smaller. I have one in my studio for under your eye. That one's bigger, so we're just going to make a match. And just have a crazy blown out smoke eye. Now let's see how this one blows out. Who all's on here? Becca, Mindy, these guys are here. My life is normal again. <laughs> These guys, I like, it was a mess. My backdrop fell. I spilled an entire bottle of NYX pigment drops all over the floor. It was a mess. Like, I might actually delete it. It was awful. <laughs> Funny, but awful. That's why people don't do live tutorials. Because <laughs> things go wrong. 
But my original plan was, since I couldn't do Urban Decay Face, I wanted to show you guys how I used to do makeup before makeup was like a thing. Before they had like all the crazy contour palettes. I used to contour my face with foundation. Dark foundation. And because a lot of you are beginners, I was going to teach you how to do that. Because I know all of you probably have bottles of foundation at your house that are too dark. And rather than just letting them go to waste, you can use them as contour. But I grabbed the wrong bottle. So we couldn't do that. But I can show you guys how to do that someday if you want me to. Because I, I don't know if you were here then, but I always... <laughs> I'm one of those people that I, I read my color on the rack, I pick it up and go, and then I get home and I'm like, this is ten shades too dark because somebody put it in the wrong spot. Happens to me all the time, and I never return it. And I just use it. I use it. Like I said, I'm a mad scientist when it comes to makeup. So I just find a way to make it work. And foundation contour, like if you're going for like a really natural look, it's amazing. One. Two, if you add in your, if you do a, you prime your face and then you do your contour foundation, your highlight foundation, and then your regular foundation, and then you do your contour. Like if you do it in all those steps, like you have the most flawless and amazing application. It takes forever. But it's like so worth it if you're going for like an over the top to die for look. But if you're just going through like an ever for an everyday natural look, just use the foundation that's too dark where you would put your contour. And then your regular foundation and your concealer is a highlight. And it's really fast and it looks natural. It doesn't look like you contoured. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking a decade ago, I was contouring with, <laughs> I was like doing what we're doing now, but it wasn't cool back then. So I did it with what I had. They didn't have all this crazy stuff back then. So I just made it work with whatever I did have. And I still use a lot of those techniques today because, you know, it's all the same thing. And I think that it makes my work even better because I know how to go so in-depth and to, like, work with anything. You know what I mean? I can make anything work. But that's just because I'm an, I'm an artist. Like, that's just what I am. You guys all have your talents, and art is what I do. Whether it's on my face, or with a camera, or a paintbrush, or a pencil, that's just what I do. Ever since I was little. Alright. My brother and my sister are like actual mad scientists with PhDs. They're geniuses. They both are like actual doctors. And um, then there's me. The one that plays with makeup and draws pictures. <laughs> Never fit in with them. But... Um, me and my sister get along really well. She's my little sister. But she is like a freaking genius. She's a college professor. You know? And so is my brother. They're both like geniuses. And then there's me. I was like, well, I don't know how to, like, I can't do chemistry, I can't do trig, but let me paint your face. You know what I mean? 
it just didn't work out. And they're like kind of antisocial and a little bit awkward and dorky, but in their own cute way, because I love them. But like, you know, and I was always like a social butterfly. Never awkward. But it's just crazy how different. It's crazy how alike they are and how different I am. Like, I'm just... I'm the middle child and the odd man out. Like, totally. <laughs> I mean, I did not fit in. Like, you know, and the competition, like, you know, like, as a daughter, my brother and sister went to school, to college for like 15 years. <laughs> You know how long it takes to get your freaking doctorate? And I made five babies. That's what I did. I went to college though. <clears throat> and I got an associate's degree. No. I got a bachelor's. Bachelor's degree. Why? Because my mom wanted me to. And it's funny, I got a, um, I think it's in science too or something like that. I took all the art classes, I took all the, um, classes that teach you how to, um, you know, the, oh, my words again. You know the classes that teach you how to graphic design? I took all the graphic design classes, all the art classes, and then I had to take chemistry and trig and all that awful stuff too. But I graduated, and then I had five babies. And now here we are. And I'm still painting my face. But my mom wanted me to go to school, so I did it to make her happy. So all of her babies graduated from college. It's just, I'm not a freaking doctor. So she's just gonna have to live with it. Just makes me think that how are my kids gonna turn out? It's crazy how different. I'm gonna try to use this make my eyes pop here. Let's see if this works. And this is a highlighter. It's not an eyeshadow. So I don't know if it's going to work. I don't think it's bright enough. Well, maybe. Ton of fallout. But it's really pretty. It's almost like an iridescent glow. Ton of fallout. Let me try a different brush. The heck did I use that brush for? Dear God, it's a mess. There we go. It's not showing up as much as I would like. So, what I'm going to do, well, I better make the other eye match real quick. And then I'm going to grab my Anastasia. Now, I just need a freaking shiny eyeshadow. Do I have any in here? Think. Think. I know what I'll do. This is City Colors Cream. Let's see how it works. I'm going to put it on my brush. Not a cream highlighter fan, but this is pretty good. 
especially with powder, you know. But I'm trying to move quick here. Don't want to run out of time again. And then it pops. It'll pop. Kind of wing it a little bit to match my smoke eye. And then I want to come into the corner. here make it pop can you see that when you're working with <coughs> all my bays know this you guys should uh, all be my beauty babes but um, cream highlighter make sure you use a brush Somebody calling somebody creepy? I'm sure it's they're calling me creepy, Mindy. Because when you are an influencer, you get trolls that love to hate you. Don't worry about it. It's okay. No big deal. This is a wig. And it'll look awesome once I glam it up. It's just a hot mess right now because I'm trying to do my freaking makeup. Don't judge a book by its cover. This isn't done. It's cutting me off, guys. I'll see you in a second. For the love of God. Gonna cut me off again. Four seconds. <laughs> 